identifying the missing values and imputing the results. So we have our data model, uh, but we might have to do a little bit of data wrangling. Most of the time people do these in Excel, but what I want to show you is that we have an opportunity to do this directly within, um, within Azure. So we're going to go back and we're going to right click on our data set. And there was one, one column, I don't know if you noticed in the last one, that had some missing values. And I'll go back and I'll show you that one. And it was the total charges column, which had 11 missing values. So they just don't have that value for the total charges there. For whatever reason, the data we collected is just not available. For our, for our purposes when building the model, we can do a couple of things with that. We can remove it completely, or we can fill in those missing values with the, with the mean of the other fields in there. So for our purposes, we're going to go and look at the data manipulation tab on the left-hand side, and we're going to pull in clean missing data. And what clean missing data is going to do is, is give us a little bit of options in terms of what we can do. So we're just going to connect our data set to the clean missing data node. And in the clean missing data, we're going to go and where it says custom substitution. Before we do that, actually, we're going to pick the field that we wanted to apply that. And we're going to apply that only to the one field that we know has missing data, which is the um, total charges. So we take everything and we select it out. And the only thing we're going to keep is the total charges. And we're going to go ahead and click on the check mark and make sure that's OK. And then we're going to go into the cleaning mode option, and we're going to say replace with the mean. We have other things we could have done. We could have removed the row, but we're just going to say replace the mean. And we can also say that if the column has all missing values, we're just going to go ahead and get rid of that column completely because it's pretty useless to us. When we're done, we just click on the run button at the bottom there, and we get a little bit of a check mark and let us know if everything is good, which we do, and that's good. Now let's go back and revisit the data with the clean model, and we can see we should no longer have any missing data for the clean data set. So if we visualize it now and we go back to the total charges, we should see that we have zero missing values. Our mean is still 2,283. So since we replaced the other ones with the mean, this mean here should be consistent with the mean in the original data set. And we're just going to do a quick test to see and visualize that $2,283 is the same there. So we're going to go back there and look at it. And $2,283 and three cents is that one in the original data set. So we're good. We've cleaned up our data set. We haven't made any changes in terms of removing any rows, but we've just slight tweak that we're able to do directly in Azure ML.